Hey there, Abiding fam, and welcome back to My Abiding Journal. My name is Kelsey Lee, and today I'm going to share with you one of my favorite ways to memory keep. And it's super simple, super quick and easy. And if you are somebody who is overwhelmed by the idea of daily journaling or trying to capture everything that happens in your life, this is a great way to journal for you. And that is to do monthly review pages. And I personally actually like to set these up at the beginning of the year, have 12 pages dedicated in my journal for monthly reviews. So in this video, I'm going to share with you how I set up these monthly review pages at the start of the year, and then I'm also going to share with you how I do a monthly review page for January. So as you can see, the first thing I did is I tore up a paper bag. I know, super technical skills here. And now I'm going to be bringing in my little alphabet stamp kit. This is from Stationery Pal and it has been one of my favorite things to work with in the last few months. I will have it linked down below. And then I just have some plain black ink from Versafine and I'm just going to create little title tags for every month of the year. So obviously right now I'm stamping out January. And the reason I really love the look of these stamps is that it has a very vintage, organic vibe because you can't perfectly line everything up. It just looks very carefree and yet at the same time very purposeful. And so that's what I did for all of these. I'm obviously going at hyper speed here so that you can get the feel for doing every single month. And of course, you don't have to stamp these. You don't have to use a paper bag. You can do whatever style you want. I personally like to prepare mine in advance, but you also don't have to do that either. You could choose to make the style of your title for the page match what happened in that month by using certain colors once the month comes and you may not want them at the beginning of your journal like I have them you may instead want to have them interspersed at the start of every month so that is all totally up to you and I just thought it would be fun to mention that there are only five letters apparently that aren't used in the 12 months of the year in the English language so I thought that was a fun fact. So here they are all of my 12 months nicely stamped out on the little bags and now we are going to just go ahead and put these into our journals, one for every page. You also could do a two page spread if that's what you wanted to do and I personally like to put my titles in the center of the page and then build my spreads around the title of the month. So there they are. Like I said, I put all 12 in order so that way it makes it really easy. If I want to just look back at a year in a glance and not have to page through every single page of my journal, I can just look through those 12 pages and have a really good idea of what my year was like. And then, of course, in terms of filling these entries out, all I do is go back to that month once the month is over and begin playing with some of the highlights from my month. So that's what I'm doing here. I have printed out a few photos of some highlights from the month of January, and I'm just playing around on the page, moving them around, trying to figure out where I want them. I always, when it comes to monthly review pages, really try to get out of my head with how it looks. I like to create really full pages as you're going to see with just every kind of white space filled up so that it just feels like an overwhelming abundance of happy memories to look back on and really emphasizing that there are many highlights to every month. So I went ahead and put all of those photos down and then I just build around those photos with other things that happened, I might expand upon what those photos are about with little titles or phrases to help me remember why I put that photo on the page. I may also go back and put other things that aren't represented in the photos. You definitely don't have to use photos in your monthly review. You could just use hand lettering to create highlights about a restaurant you went to or a trip you had or maybe just some really yummy meals that you are making at home and you can really make this whatever you want it to be. It also, I should mention, doesn't have to just be positive highlights. You may want to talk about 
the fact that maybe you were really dealing with seasonal depression in January. Maybe you experienced a really significant loss and you want to honor that by talking about it in this entry. So definitely don't feel like your highlights page needs to be all sunshine and roses and all happy things because that certainly is not totally representative of what life is. I personally like to try and keep mine more positive so that I'm focusing on the positive and I'm using my highlights pages as a form of reflective gratitude. So personally, my highlights for January included summiting Mount Washington. That's what I'm talking about now with these little alpha stickers. And we also went ice climbing on this trip. So that was really the main highlight of January for us was that trip that trip, <laughs> that trip, there we go, I can talk, uh, to New Hampshire. And then we also had a really good reading month. I say we, I mean me. I had a really good reading month, so I read five books in January, so I talked about that, and also about the Storygraph app, which I talked about in my review page for 2021 of all of the books that I read. I have a video on that. I'll link it up in the cards. I love that page. I do it every single year as well. It's another staple for me, and I also highly recommend doing an entry like that if you're a reader, so definitely go and check that one out. And I also used some book stickers and washi tape to just emphasize the great reading month that I had. We also watched a bunch of documentaries, so I talked about that, not with photos, but just with a little bulleted list of the three documentaries that we watched in the month of January, The Alpinist, 14 Peaks, and The Rescue, all very adventure-based documentaries. If you're into that, I highly recommend them. And then we also went out to eat to one of our favorite pubs and had a little date night. I captured the fact that we had coffee at one of my favorite places as well. I made a really good meal called Fataire. I think I'm saying that right. I'm probably not. Um, it's actually a recipe by Joanna Gaines, and so I've been loving that. And then, of course, we also are celebrating the fact that hashtag my abiding journal 2022 is well underway. And so I used my printable set from Patreon. You can access this by becoming a patron for either $2 or $6 and get access to tons and tons of printable stickers to use in your journals. And that's what these last few items I just put on the page are. The one that looks like a journal cover is actually a illustration of my journal cover that I did and my journal cover if you've been admiring it throughout this video is from Documented Journey. They are handmade. They're made of cork. I have videos about them too so I'll link that up in the cards. I am obsessed with this cover. It is so beautiful and I'm so excited. I get to work in it all year long. And then speaking of Patreon, one of my biggest highlights of this year, or not this year, this month, January, the year is not yet over. Hopefully I have more highlights to talk about later on. My biggest highlight is that I hit 100 patrons which was one of my major goals for Patreon. So thank you so, so, so much to all of my patrons, past, present, and future, who have made that happen. I'm so grateful for you. And that, my friends, is the finished entry for January. Whether you are just getting started with journaling or have been doing it for a long time, I highly encourage you to try doing a monthly review spread like this in your own journal. It is a super fulfilling thing to look back on and I highly recommend it. Let me know down in the comments what your favorite month of the year is if you've made it this far and why. I'd love to know and let me know too if you like to do monthly review spreads as well. That is going to be everything for this video, so thank you so much for watching, and I will look forward to seeing you in the next one. Until then, keep exploring your abiding creativity and document a life abiding in faith, hope, and love. Mm -hmm.